this video is going to be a little different because today we are doing a block sale. If you guys have been on this channel before, you know that I love handbags, I love fashion, accessories, anything and everything related. Now, most of the time I do comparisons, reviews, you know, what's inside my bags, things like that. Today's video is going to be a very small vlog sale. And I've done a couple of these with my other bags, but I've never done them on my contemporary bags. Now, I know half of you guys will probably love stuff like this and then half of you guys are probably more into like the designer pieces and things like that but for me i love both contemporary and designer bags i love all <laughs> i love all bags and i honestly just want to do this sale because i've mentioned before my closet is teeny tiny and i just need space i need shelf space i need closet space I just need space overall and I'm losing track of things I have because it's just getting like shoved, you know, um, on my shelves. So I kind of am slowly going through all my stuff and just really thinking to myself, am I using these things? If I'm not, I want to, you know, find them a new home. So this particular video is focused on only contemporary bags because you know, I want to find these bags in a new home because I did actually pick up a couple of new bags. Um, on the contemporary size. If you guys watch my channel or subscribe, then stay tuned because I have something I want to unbox with you and I'm so excited about it. But in the meantime, I do want to find these bags a good home. Now, if you guys know me on my channel, you know that I like to swap out my bags. So I don't use bags for too long a duration. I like to rotate towards them. So a lot of these bags I actually barely use. Now, obviously there are some bags that are older that I have used and I'll share those with you, but for the majority, these are like in pristine condition. So, and I will drop all the prices below. If you guys are interested, you can comment below or you can reach out via Instagram. I'll drop my handle over here, DM me with the bags that you're interested in. And then once they're sold, I'll mark them in the description box. First bag on the list is this Tory Burch bag. Now I've done many videos and I'll drop it below, but this is, and it comes with the original dust bag. Dust bag is actually really cute. Look, the sticker is still on the Tory Burch emblem because like I said, I haven't, to be honest, used this bag too much, but this one, is my Tory Burch Perry. Now I've debated for so long if I should get rid of this bag because out of the Tory Burch bags I have, I would say this one, another bag I'm gonna show, they're, they're my favorite. It's just that I don't use them. And I feel like if I'm not using it, I really don't want to have them here. I wanna give the bags to someone else that can enjoy them. So this is just black and the inside is in this cognac brown, super cute. It has this red tag. I actually think they came out with another version. It's also still black gold hardware, um, but I think this tag here is like a beige or a pink or something. I personally love this because I feel like the red and the black just go really well. And that's part of the reason why I purchased this initially. And if I don't want this to show, I can remove this or just tuck it inside. And I carry it like this. Honestly, this bag fits so much. Let me show you. Again, up close, nothing wrong with this bag because I probably only used it a handful of times. Gold hardware, here is the bottom, here is the side. The inside has this middle compartment where you can put your wallet and things like that. So if you, it is secure if you wanna put your wallet in it, that's what I do. And then this part snaps. And it's easy access because you can put like your other stuff over here, the stuff you don't care too much about. Now, I never worry about having an open bag like this as long as I have something that does zip and this one does. What I love about this one is it doesn't move around. So this one is stinched on the side. The problem with a lot of the dividers is when it's not, things like slip in between, it shifts, It's it can get really annoying. This one stays stationed. So you don't ever need to worry about it moving its place and you can organize the bag. Now, it has a crossbody strap, gold hardware as well. Beautiful, pristine, almost like new condition. And you can put them right here. Here's the D-rings to make this a crossbody. 
So look how cute, this is adjustable too. So you can make it shorter, longer. Um, yeah, it's really good. I've used this one to run errands. Um, I did use this when I went to Hawaii. Now, like I said, I haven't used it too many times, but it really is in good condition. So this is bag number one, Tory Burch Perry in the size small. Continuing with the Tory Burch brand, the second most loved bag is my Kira. Now I've also done many reviews. I've done comparisons of this bag actually with um, my YSL walk. I'll drop that below. And again, this is another bag I've been going back and forth on because it was my first wallet on chain bag. And this is recent. I picked this one up in 2020 and look how cute she is. She's honestly the perfect size. When I first got this, my intention as always is to use this for every day. So it's not just for going out. I feel like it can be dressed up and down. I love this one because of the gold, but this is so comfortable. It's like cushy. It feels like lambskin. It's so good. And I love this gold hardware. And the best part, it has this back pocket. Not like receipts or whatever in here, but it's like a really substantial back pocket. So let me show you up close. No scratches on the gold whatsoever. This is buttery soft, no scratches. Here is what the corners look like. Now, I don't even see any corner damage, but here, let me show you. Maybe like a slight little, little, little rubbing, and that's just because the leather is so soft, but I don't really see anything. It looks pretty good. I say like, hey, let me show you another close up. Again, if you guys wanna see additional photos of any of these, reach out to me, I'd be happy to show you. Here's the back pocket. Let me show you the inside. So it's a turn lock. So if you guys are looking at like the Chanel wallet on chain or YSL, but you don't wanna pay like those designer prices, then really consider this. This one has this compartment. To be honest, I like this layout even more than Chanel's. I think the reason why I've never picked up Chanel Wallet on Chain is because I'm not a fan of the layout, but here, here's the front, here is a middle. Like I actually use this to put like lipsticks and stuff in and I close it, but you can put whatever you want. And this bag is very cushiony and expands. So this bag fits a lot. So you could put stuff in this back pocket. Just so you know, my 12 Pro Max does fit inside. And look, this actually has card slots too. So I've done it before where I just put my card slots and you, then you don't need a wallet in here. You can fit even more. So this could be good for, if you don't carry that much, every day for a wallet on chain on the contemporary end, this is by far the best one I've seen. The only reason why I'm letting this one go is because I do have my YSL walk um, and I did spend like a good amount on that. So I figure like if I have two and I don't go, to too many places in the evening. So I might as well find the one I don't use as much, a new home, which is this one. But nonetheless, so beautiful. So this is number two, the Kira Tory Burch Wallet on Chain. Just so you know, Wallet on Chain from Tory Burch bags, at least when I bought it, does not come with dust bags. So I don't have a dust bag for that. But if you guys wanna request a dust bag, I do have a lot of just other dust bags. I can put that in. Third piece is actually an SLG and it's this Coach, um, wristlet i love this one so this is one i wanted a catch-all i so i don't wear it as a wristlet i just wanted a catch-all but i wanted i didn't want to spend the money on the louis vuitton uh, mini pochette but then i end up getting it anyways um so then i'm like well now that i have that i never use this and i only use this one in my palm springs mini because it stood up per perfectly in there but i've barely used this look I would say this is like brand new. Look at the, look at this part, brand new. Gold hardware. The inside's so cute because it's in this red lining, but it has cards too. So you can actually fit cards in here. So this is a great catch all for the inside of your bag. But if you wanted to put this in your bag and let's say you're going to lunch at work, you can just grab it like this, run out the door and it actually works perfectly too. And this one again is the coach. Okay, number four four on the list is this leather tote bag. Yes, it says 100% leather. The inside's 100% cotton. And I actually bought this in a little boutique in Los Angeles. And I've had it for a while, but probably only used it a couple times. Like I said, it's a full leather bag. I use this when I'm going to meetings, I carry my laptop, but again, I just, have too many totes I don't use that many 
So I do want to find her a good home, but it has silver hardware here. It's like a cream ivory color. So I love, it feels buttery soft. So let me show you up close. I mean, there may be a little bit of there. I wouldn't say there's no stains or anything, but maybe this part has like a little bit of dirt. I can't really tell here, but you could just honestly like condition it out and it'll be marked accordingly. But to me, this is in like very good condition. Here's the bottom because even though I've had this bag probably for five years, I've probably used it no more than 12 times <laughs> because you guys know I have a problem of getting too many bags and then the end of the day, I, I wanna use all of them. So I never give that much attention to one, but here's what the inside looks like. It has a pocket right here where I drop my phone and things like that. Other than that, it's just like a big pocket, but it fits so much. So when I did use this, um, I can fit like my sweater, scarves and things like that on top of like notebooks. And it, it actually looks really cute because it's so big and oversized. It just gives you that like sophisticated, like New York vibes, you know, love this one, but here it is. So this one is the cream ivory leather tote. This will be number, let's see, this will be number four. Yeah, number four, cream leather tote. Another Tory bag is another tote, which is this one right here. Now this bag, I also debated because you guys know I like, I love Tory Birch bags and I love coach bags. I would say out of the contemporary line because I feel like for the quality you actually get like designer quality is sometimes even better, but at a very like affordable price, right? So I always felt like they were really good bags to have. It's just, I've gotten to a point where I just have too many. So that is the only reason why I'm letting some of these go. But this one is so cute. And this was a limited seasonal design. I picked this one at Bloomingdale's when it first came out. And I had this like obsession with birds. And I just love this one because I love the navy with the red and it's really comfortable to wear. I actually use this one. I bought this one for work. Um, and I would say like I used it probably for like a couple of months and then I stopped. Um, but yeah, like for, so this one is canvas, right? But I mean, this one's in white and look how clean I've kept it. I mean, there might be like a little bit of discoloration, a little bit right here, but for the most part, Again, I can send you more photos. It's in really good condition. Bottom is in this like patent like uh, leather and it's still nice and soft. And again, like if you guys do buy any of these, I can always touch up the bags too if you see anything you want me to fix. But most of these, like I said, are in pristine condition. The inside has a Tory Burch emblem. And what I love about this bag is there's this zipper pull that sits right here. So I could put like all my essentials in this little pouch. But look, on this other side is another zipper pull, which is like so amazing to me. And again, let me show you what it looks like on. I just think it's so cute. Like this is so cute, like for both fall and for spring, I would say more spring. Yeah, but here's what she looks like. This is not a huge sale. I just have one more and this one is unexpected. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever featured this bag just because, um, but I, do you guys remember when, um, when um, seven for all mankind jeans were super popular? And to be honest, like I still buy some of their apparel stuff, uh, but I was like obsessed with their jeans. I just thought that they fit really well. I used to buy like their tops and stuff too. So because of the obsession, I actually bought this also in another LA boutique. And this one is the um, seven for all mankind bag. And it is full leather. Like you can't tell how buttery it is until you're here in person. This is like a, I wanna say it feels like lambskin, potentially calfskin, but it feels more like lambskin. But there's so much detail. It says seven for mankind here. You can actually take this off. So if you didn't want it on there, it's like too much. You can take this off. And this bag is so cool because it has the lining. This is an outside pocket and it, there's a magnet here. So it closes just like that. And then also on this side too. 
So again, opens like that and look at what the inside looks like. It has the brand over here. Also magnetic closing like this. But then the cool part is the inside also has these pockets. One, two, inside is nice and clean. This part says the brand right here. This is gold hardware. Another pocket here that zips up and it has a pull tag. Now, I love this bag because you everything is easy access. So there's a magnetic right here and it actually just closes like so. So again, like here is what it looks like on. And this is like a really buttery cognac color, but I often just wore it like this too. Um, again, this is the bag you can use to work. This is the bag you use when you want to carry more. I would say like, it's like definitely like on the medium to large side in my opinion, but here is the details. And this comes with the original dust bag as well. So that is pretty much it. This is just round one because I wanted to do a trial. I don't know if you guys like stuff like this or not. Um, Drop a comment below. Let me know. Do you guys care about contemporary brands? Do you want to see more vlog sales when it comes to this or more reviews when it comes to Tory bags and other contemporary brands that I personally really love? Or do you guys prefer just to stick with like the designer stuff and, you know, give me some um, feedback. I would love to hear because I want to make videos that you guys like. Um, and I hopefully you guys will like seeing some of the other stuff that I don't showcase all the time. But yeah, let me know. And again, if you guys are interested in anything, feel free to DM me on Instagram or drop me a comment below. Let me know which um, item number you're referring to. If you want to see more photos, ask questions or anything like that, I'd be happy to help you. And that is pretty much it. That's just a little mini vlog sale I have for my contemporary bags. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.